Glutamine and glutathione sound so similar, but they are oh so different. In fact, here's a picture of glutamine and here's a picture of glutathione. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Don't worry, this isn't going to turn into senior year chemistry class. Instead, in this short video, I'm going to explain everything in plain English. <laughs> and I might even have an Iron Man analogy for you that will help it all make sense. So let's find out exactly what glutamine and glutathione are, why they're beneficial for us humans, and how you can find them in food and supplements. Let's go. Hi, I'm registered dietitian, Rochelle Godwin. So let's start by answering the simplest question. What are they? Well, glutamine is an amino acid, while glutathione is actually an antioxidant. We'll look at why this distinction is important in a minute, when we look at the benefits of them both. But first, a quick fun fact. Glutamine and glutathione share a similar origin story. Glutamine is a single amino acid, Glutathione, despite the fact that it's an antioxidant, is actually made up of three amino acids. Okay, this may not be a fun fact per se, but you know, we found it interesting. So moving on. Now in terms of how important they are, so glutamine is actually the most abundant amino acid naturally found in our bodies, while glutathione is arguably the body's most important antioxidant, and it is often referred to as its master antioxidant, meaning they are both extremely important for our bodies, almost like joint gold medal winners. But when it comes to the primary benefit of them, things start to get different. <laughs> so for glutamine, its main benefit is that it fuels the cells lining our intestinal wall and supports the integrity of the gut barrier, meaning it helps fight leaky gut, helps with bloating, and supports the digestive system. In fact, here's a quick clip from a previous video we recorded explaining how glutamine helps with leaky gut. In fact, this 2011 meta-analysis of 86 different studies on glutamine and gut permeability found, quote, a significant body of evidence indicates that glutamine preserves the gut barrier function, unquote. And just as importantly, the researchers found, quote, glutamine is considered the most important nutrient for healing of leaky gut syndrome because it is the preferred fuel for enterocytes and colonocytes, unquote. By contrast, glutathione's main function is to kill free radicals and inflammatory compounds called reactive oxygen species, meaning it helps fight inflammation, aging, and toxins while also supporting our energy levels. And you can now see in our table how they compare in terms of benefits. And I know this reads like geek speak, and you may be feeling like you are back in senior year chem class. So let me explain it with an Iron Man analogy. So you know how Iron Man is powered by his arc reactor, the glowing circle on his chest? This is his energy source, and it gives him the strength to fly around and do all kinds of crazy things. Well, that is kind of like glutamine. Now, you know how Iron Man fights bad guys and kills them off using his arsenal of bangle dangle weapons? <laughs> well, that is kind of like glutathione. In other words, glutamine is like the fuel for our body and glutathione is like a fighter for it. Anyways, enough Iron Man chatter. After all, here at Essential Stacks, we are all about researching the best ways to improve your gut health. So the next big question is, do glutamine and glutathione both help with gut health? Well, for glutamine, it is clearly helpful for gut health. In fact, it is the number one reason people are so interested in this little amino acid these days. And as we looked at, it also helps with the integrity of the intestinal lining and thus fights leaky gut. But what about glutathione? Well, it turns out that glutathione indirectly helps gut health by reducing intestinal inflammation, fighting oxidative damage, and supporting healthy detoxification pathways. Some animal research have even suggested that glutathione may strengthen the gut barrier by reducing intestinal cell death. In other words, they both help with gut health. But of course, glutamine helps more and does so in a more direct way. Now, let's look at whether they are both made and found naturally in the body. And as you can see in our table, the answer is yes. <laughs> but interestingly, both can be depleted due to things like stress, injury, aging, and poor lifestyle, among other reasons. And in these situations, it may be helpful to go full Indiana Jones and seek external treasures. <laughs> I mean sources of glutamine and glutathione. Which brings us to the next question. 
Are they found in foods? Meaning, can we get more through our diet? For glutamine, the answer is yes. And you'll find it in most protein-rich foods like meat, seafood, and eggs. And if you wanna see a complete list of foods high in glutamine, download our free top 50 glutamine foods list. This will show you the highest glutamine foods you can eat, including how much glutamine you'll get per serving. Link to this in the description below. Now for glutathione. You will also find this in some foods, especially antioxidant-rich foods like avocados and spinach. But here's the thing, once ingested, glutathione, it breaks down rapidly, which means inside your gut, it breaks apart into the three amino acids it's made of. This means that it can be hard to increase glutathione levels in your body by eating glutathione-rich foods. And this has led researchers to conclude that, quote, dietary glutathione is not a major determinant of circulating glutathione, unquote. With that said, you can potentially eat foods rich in compounds that can encourage glutathione production. We call them precursor foods. And a great example would be sulfur-rich foods like meat and cruciferous vegetables. Now, what about supplements? Well, glutamine is easy to find in supplement form, and you can usually find it in powder or capsule form. If your main goal for taking glutamine is to support your gut health, then powder form, like we make with gut L-glutamine, is best. And that's because most experts agree, five to 10 grams of glutamine per day is best for leaky gut and bloating. In other words, L-glutamine powder is much easier to take compared to swallowing 10 capsules. And if you want to learn why experts believe 5 to 10 grams is ideal, check out our video on L-glutamine dosage, link in the description below. As for glutathione, you can find this in supplement form as well. Usually it comes in capsule or liposomal form. But like with glutathione-rich foods, there are serious doubts about whether supplemental glutathione can actually make its way into the cells intact. And if we go back to the previous study we looked at, we can see researchers found, quote, it is not possible to increase circulating glutathione to a clinically beneficial extent by the oral administration of glutathione, unquote. As such, from what we've seen from all the research, as of today, glutathione supplements may not be worth buying. So now you know the difference between glutamine and glutathione, and hopefully you can see just how important they both are for our health. While glutamine is mainly about gut health, glutathione is more to do with inflammation, aging, and energy. And as you saw, we make both of them naturally in our body, and you can also find them in foods and supplements. But of course, these external sources of glutamine and glutathione differ in terms of how helpful they may be. And now we wanna hear from you. Have you tried glutamine or glutathione? And what benefits did you find taking them? Let everyone know by leaving a comment below. If you enjoyed this video as part of our glutamine series, then hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you never miss another video. Our team of dietitians and doctors here at Essential Stacks are so excited to continue researching which foods and supplements help your gut health. That way you can save hundreds of hours of trial and error and focus on what's best for your digestive health. Thanks for watching and see you in the comments. Bye for now.